Morning, everyone. Morning, morning. Say good morning to the nice good people morning, of Facebook. Uh, so my name's Andy Harmer from Clear, and I have been joined by Luke Smith, who is head of international sales for Carnival Cruise Lines. So they tell me, Carnival Cruise Line. <laughs> We've just literally had this conversation. I know. So it is Carnival Cruise Line. Yeah. You used to be Carnival Cruise Lines. Yeah. I don't know where the other Carnival Cruise Lines went, but it's just the one of us. <laughs> so you're just looking after one. So for the benefit of people who may not have met yeah. you or joined you before, uh, then tell us a bit about your history, your career. How, how long have you been in cruise? Uh, so I've been in cruise coming up to 15 years now. i um, been with Carnival Corporation that entire time almost. Uh, we'll, uh, started in Cunard Reservations many, many years ago. Wow. Um, and then I realised that probably the serious, seriousness of making <laughs> people's bookings was... Uh, not for me, moved over into sales and been lucky enough to represent most of the uh, court brands ever since and been with this park Carnival uh, for coming up to seven years now. So so seven years at Carnival Cruise yeah. Line. How has yeah. that been? Amazing. Uh, in all honesty, it, it, it is, it's incredible. The brand is fantastic. We're seeing it develop and grow in, in all of our markets, now we look after international, but especially here in the UK, hmm. um, has been great. I joined just after we launched Breeze in the Med, um, and since then there's been so many new ships and product developments, it's, it's amazing, yeah. Yeah. Great. We'll come to some of the new ships, because yeah. you've got a couple that we know about that are coming, including one this year and one next year. Yeah. Um, let's start on the brand itself. So for those people who don't know Carnival Cruise Line, yeah. what is it like on board? So we always say Carnival is not your traditional cruise. So this is, uh, this is the largest brand in the world. This is uh, an informal four-star fun brand. And when we say fun, it's not like us going like, this is fun, enjoy it. Like it's saying like, whatever your idea of fun is, you can find it on board Carnival Cruise Line. There's, n you very rarely need, you won't see tuxedos, you won't see ball gowns, you won't see a lot of ballroom dancing. Some of the traditional cruise elements that some of the sister brands and other brands do extremely well. Yeah. This is water parks, comedy clubs, IMAX cinemas, roller coasters, uh, cy cycling tracks suspended nearly 200 foot above sea level. Um, this is incredible brand tie-ups like Dr. Zeus and Guy Fieri. Um, and it's just fun. Like that is, uh, it, it sounds cheesy and overly American, but it is, it is a fun brand for everyone. Uh, a lot of what you've just described seems to indicate families. It does, um, but a lot of people would be surprised to know that our core market is actually over 50s couples. So over 50s couples make up about 50% of our customer distribution. But it's not about age group. It's not about uh, putting pigeonholing people because they're of a certain age and right. saying, right, well, they must like uh, ballroom dancing and karaoke right. and everything else that maybe some of the more traditional lines offer. This is saying that the, our customers actively choose fun. They make a conscious decision every day to wake up and have the best day that they can. They like being around people. They like being around family. They're social. And they're the type of people that we want to go on. Yes, sometimes that means families. Yes, sometimes that means older couples. But with 26 ships in the fleet, right. what we would say is pick the right holiday for the right customer. So maybe sure. don't send the 60-year-olds on a three-nighter out of LA. Um, save that for maybe packaged up for your honeymooners and your young families and things. So you get a different type of customer on different cruises. Yeah, very much so. I mean, look, if you take a three-night... Mexico sailing out of LA to a 16 night Hawaii sailing out right. of Vancouver um, doing sea like doing uh, Alaska and Hawaii then yeah you're going to get very different markets but the great thing about the carnival product especially over here in the UK is that the way it's sold is packaged up with multiple other elements so you have the ability to tailor the product like specifically to the customers sitting in front of you and really create something bespoke that they can't find somewhere else. Okay. I, I should point out, by the way, if you have any questions for Luke, then send them in via Facebook, on Facebook, question or comment or something like that, and we'll get some questions hopefully like for you. Expert, I have no idea what I'm talking about, <laughs> but, uh, but please, please get your questions across to Luke. Um, you mentioned some destinations there. Yes. Uh, Carnival is very well known for Caribbean, yes. uh, which I guess is where the brand started. Um, so tell us a bit about your Caribbean program and then maybe some of the other destinations yeah. you feature. 
So absolutely, Caribbean is uh, our bread and butter. That is where we are experts with the biggest Caribbean cruise line. Uh, and you're very much, you're right, that is where it started. It, it was about bringing cruise into the masses of these amazing destinations. So we offer uh, Caribbean departures from most uh, of the major North American cruise ports, as well as direct out of Barbados. Um, and we offer uh, pretty much every part of the Caribbean to be honest, the Eastern Caribbean, Western Caribbean, Southern Caribbean, we even have what we call exotic Eastern and exotic Western with a little bit of Central America in there. Okay. Um, and anywhere from three, four nights right up to sort of your, your near two week holidays as okay. well on the Carnival Journeys program. So really the Caribbean, we are where, the, where it's at. And, and most people would think that you'd sell out of Miami for the Caribbean, but that's not strictly true. Not strictly true, no. Miami is, is a big port for us. It's our home port. We've, uh, we've obviously got our head offices and everything there, but it's not just that. I mean, you can go to the Caribbean from uh, Orlando, Texas, New Orleans, uh, New York, like all basically okay. any major cruise port in the US. Okay. And then you mentioned West Coast US and some of yeah. those other destinations. Yeah. So, so do you have an Alaska program as well? We do. We have Alaska, we have Hawaii, we have Mexico, Bahamas, Bermuda. Um, and again, ranging in length of itineraries from short cruises that work well as part of a, a longer package or longer cruises where that's the, the main part of the holiday. But really, uh, the West Coast is very, very big for us as well. And uh, we'll hopefully come on to some of the good stuff yeah. that we've got happening in that region as well. Completely. So, so the destinations that you feature sound very much, you know, very much sunshine, yeah. very much beach kind of orientated. Yeah. So, and it, is that kind of the same on board? So it's very much an outdoor, yeah. you know, relaxed? Well, I mean, especially as with the newer ships, I mean, especially when you, we look at the Vista class ship, um, they are, everything in on board is about being outside. It is about experiencing and being on a cruise. We're not trying to hide the fact that you're on a ship. We're trying to bring people out onto the, the decks, make people inclusive of everything that we're doing. Yeah. Um, and yeah, the atmosphere on board is, I mean, Chris, if the, if the weather's good and you're in the Caribbean, they'll just move one of the parties out onto deck and they'll okay. just turn it into a massive deck party for everyone. So it, it very much, it's very fluid. There's a lot of fun. It's very sort of um, kind of do what you want, when you want um, and be as involved or, or not as involved as you like. Um, I, one big destination I completely omitted, which we'll come <laughs> on to is obviously the great news for Carnival is the Med product. So we have uh, lots of European deployment coming up for 2020 and we are very much hopeful of beyond as well. And, and MED is quite new because you're yeah. famously not very European in terms of your way your ships yeah. are deployed. So we are the American cruise line. Yeah. Ultimately, we are, we're not going to get away from that. We're not going to shy away from it. We are unashamedly American and we have based most of our ships out of North America. Now, like I said, I've been here nearly seven years and we have had Breeze, uh, yeah. we had Sunshine, we've had Legend. We've had Horizon, we've had Vista, so we have had ships yeah. in the Med. Um, but starting in 2020, we're hoping that's going to be a lot more consistent and, uh, and, and carrying on. You mentioned uh, that you're very much an American brand. Does that mean that most of the guests on your ships are from America? It will mean, especially from certain ports. Okay. Um, now, the great thing about having the Med product is that does reduce that. So when uh, we had the Vista program, for example, about 50% of the guests across the, the, um, yeah. the product across the season were non-Americans. So okay. we work with all the major European markets, but a large portion of them are taken up from the, the UK and it is a great product for the UK guests. What it does mean is even when you go out in Miami or Orlando or New York or whatever, and it mm -hmm. is largely Americans, yeah. It doesn't matter because they're there to have a good time yeah. and ultimately that's what Carnival's about. It is a holiday hmm. um, and the Americans don't get as much annual leave as we do. No. So when they go away, <laughs> they go away to have fun yeah. and they're there to have a good time. Um, so the atmosphere on board tends to be much more, uh, much more holiday, much more spirited, much more, a bit more lively. There's a lot more live music and, okay. and things like that around. Hmm. So. Um, but like I said, pick the right people, people that go to Florida or Sandals, beaches, these big resorts, because they'll uh, like that style of holiday. Right. We're not asking agents to take any of our sister brands like P&O or anything. Their customers are sure. amazing for them and sure. it's a different brand. Okay. 
Let's, let's finish up our conversation on, yeah. on what's on board because um, you have some great alternative dining. And one of the yeah. things I loved about the last ship I visited uh, was the kind of the pool deck area. Yeah. You have these little booths where you get a burger, for example, or yeah. a very good burger. Well, so we call it the casual dining and it, it very much is food does food can be top quality and uh, an excellent value for money without you needing to go and put on a suit and sit down in the restaurant so okay. we've got guy fieri uh, who does diners drive-ins and dives on the food network he's got a burger joint on all of our ships completely complimentary you can just rock up and it's all a signature recipe that you can only find on carnival opposite side of the deck you've got the create your own burrito station yes. at blue iguana um, the breakfast burritos are amazing, by the way. Um, <laughs> and then you go inside, there's sushi, there's pizza, 24-hour uh, pizzeria, there's the, um, the seafood shack where you can yeah. get lobster rolls. There literally is every type of cuisine on board. Um, and yeah, yeah, most of it is uh, is included, so it's great. You have a great pub as well, a very famous ah, pub. Yeah. And don't you brew some of your own beer? We are. We have the first brewery at sea. We do our own. We have brewmasters on board. Right. And what we've actually just started doing is selling the uh, what we brew. Like you can buy it in cans um, to take mm. away and, and buy it at shoreside in the states now as well. So. Um, yeah, we, we've got um, we've turned the one on one of the, the upcoming ships into in sort of connection with Guy Fieri. So it's like a smokehouse and brew house okay. and all these sort of um, craft beers and mm. ales and things. So okay. that's been really, really popular. Great. So just before we move on to some of your new ships coming, yeah. let's talk about the fleet because presumably you've got ships of different ages. But so yes. does the does the does the experience vary based no. on what ship you're on? The only way the experience varies is the amount of the experience, if that makes sense. So obviously, if you go on Horizon, um, she's got everything on board because she's the, the newest yeah. ship. If you went on, say, Victory, for example, um, then that has less because it's a smaller ship. But right. the ethos and the kind of atmosphere on board is very, very consistent. Um, the, the way that we operate the ships, the flow of the ships, all of the main elements of a carnival holiday are there. Um, it's just on the bigger ships, you might have a few extra speciality restaurants or a okay. bigger bar or, or whatever it okay. is. So then from a customer perspective, similar customers can go on, yeah. on on any of your ships? Yeah, absolutely. If they are a carnival customer, they like the carnival mentality, the carnival sort of way. Not necessarily, we get much less customers who are like diehard Carnival Horizon customers. You know, I mean, that's the okay. only ship they'll go on because in the States, you'll have people that will gladly drive 12 hours to get on their cruise. Right. Whereas we, we don't, it's a different situation sure. over here, which is fine. Um, but you will find that if you've got customers that are the carnival type, then they'll enjoy the carnival product, especially if you package it up and tailor it the right way for them. Okay. And packaging is obviously important because there's yeah. so much to do in the States that uh, you would want to... Endless. I yeah. mean, and again, and that's the great thing about the US is that there is something for everyone in every state that we sail yeah. from. So it doesn't matter if you're not into Universal Studios and, and Disney and all that uh, great stuff. Mm. You can still do a cruise from Orlando or Miami or somewhere like that yeah. because you've got the Everglades and you've got yeah. um, you know, in Key West and other places yeah. that you can do. And it's the same for everywhere we sail from. Yeah. So. It's a great place to holiday. Let's talk about your first new ship coming this year, which is Panorama. Yeah, tell us excited. all about it. Tell us everything. Tell us everything. <laughs> well, well, not everything. How long have we, got? we haven't got that much time. <laughs> right. uh, so, Carnival Panorama is the third Vista class ship. Um, so, she is sister to Vista and Horizon. Yeah. Um, and she's going to be sailing out of the West Coast, uh, which is really big news for us because it's the first new build ship the West Coast has had in 20 years. We've redeveloped the port and all of the shoreside infrastructure there as well to maximise the kind of point-to-point -point journey for okay. the customers. But in terms of the actual ship, we've got amazing things like the first ever trampoline park at sea with Sky Zone. Um, there's going to be uh, all the, the big hitting like sort of brand favourites like all the Guy Fieri yeah. things and, and Skyride and all of that stuff. But uh, we're just very excited. She's going to be picking up that um, the Mexico sailings uh, from LA. So she's out of LA. Yeah, seven night cruises. Seven nights um, down to down to the yeah. Mexican peninsula. Exactly. Peninsula. Peninsula. That's easy. Uh, <laughs> so she's going to be doing some amazing itineraries. But what you've got in that area again, we were talking about a minute ago. Yeah. 
you can do, she's doing seven night itineraries, but you can still easily make a two week holiday with San Fran, LA, yeah. San Diego, uh, and all of these places Grand as well. Grand Canyon, if you've got Yeah, time. absolutely. Um, you've got the, obviously the original Disney in Anaheim as yeah. well. So there's so many uh, packaging opportunities. and. Being such a new ship, she's going to be absolutely, um, she's going to be the best yet. And she's been uh, built in Europe. Yes. So will we see her in the UK or will she head straight to the States? I thought we were friends. No, so <laughs> she, she uh, is, for the first time, we're not actually okay. bringing a ship that's built in Europe over to here before we send okay. her over to the States because she's going over and then she's moving through a couple of ports for the naming and everything before uh, home port in, uh, in LA. That's fine. You're allowed to ignore us for a while because actually your other new ships yeah, that you've I mean, had, you've, you've, you've done lots with. So let's talk about the ship after where you will bring her to the UK and that's yeah. Mardi Gras. Well, actually just before Mardi Gras, okay. there's Carnival Radiance, sure. which is Carnival Victory at the moment, but we don't really retire our old tonnet. So we're actually spending over $200 million on her to turn her into effectively a new ship, yeah. adding cabins and all the onboard elements and things. So she's going to be debuting in April next year. Um, out of Barcelona, um, okay. and which is great. So that's already selling very, very well. Um, there is one sailing that uh, overlaps with the half-term holiday as well, which has been very, very popular. Mm. Um, and then, yes, we've got Mardi Gras coming in August, and she is going to redefine everything that Carnival has done. She is looking amazing. All of the stuff that we're seeing from her, I mean, some of the videos and stuff yeah. that we've had, I don't know if anyone saw recently, um, we, we put out a video of the new summer landing and Lido deck. And the great thing about it is it, there's no sort of voiceover or anything, it's just like a really punchy video about all of the new stuff that's kind of like the, um, the Blue Iguana Tiki Bar and all the new pool areas and all of the, the places to dine. Um, and honestly, we just can't wait. So August next year, she starts off doing Copenhagen to Southampton and then she's doing a Southampton to New York sailing. Uh, before eventually home porting in Orlando for summer 2021 or that season. So okay, yeah. So my years right now. So in terms of the onboard experience, yeah. is it this, is it the same class? No, this is uh, a class of her own. Uh, <laughs> so it's quite nice as well. There's a lot of synergy with Mardi Gras. So Mardi Gras is actually the name of our very first ship right. that we started with 47 years ago now, 48 years ago. So. Um, it is sort of going back to why we did this, bringing crews to new to cruise customers, bringing right. crews back to the masses. And the onboard, I mean, she's going to be about 6,000 passengers. Um, she's a completely brand new class of ship. And she's also the first ship in the North American market to have the new LNG gases. So she's much more sustainable and eco-friendly as well. And size-wise, is she a bit bigger than Vista class? Yeah, she, she's about 185,000 tons, I believe. Okay. So um, the Vista class was about 130. Okay. Um, so she's, uh, she's gonna be much, much bigger, a lot more space. She's got things on it, and, and having more space, this is the great thing, you can do so much yeah. more. So we've got things like Bolt, the first ever roller coaster at sea. We just looks see amazing. you on there. Yes. You, you can you control go. how fast you can go. You? Yeah, absolutely. So <laughs> it, it literally, so everyone's encouraged to go on. Um, there will be a small cover charge for Bolt, but it, uh, honestly, we have to in terms of, if anything, just to control the, yeah. the queues and things. But it, it's going to be so nominal, like anything that we charge. But honestly. There's a great video of Christine Duffy, our president, on it, and it, it just went viral. I think it had, I mean, it had hundreds of millions of impressions mm. in the states. This video, but there's so many things like that. Like Shaquille O'Neal, one of our brand ambassadors, mm. is bringing his uh, chain of chicken restaurants on board, mm. which sounds ridiculous, no, but sounds it, great. big chicken. Um, <laughs> so there's so many of these amazing um, elements that are going to be on board. We we just can't wait. Um, so yeah, really and, excited. And family-wise, you, your normal water park that you have. Yeah, right? we'll we'll just be bigger and bigger than ever. Um, but it won't. It will be the normal carnival waterworks. We deviated slightly on Horizon, where we made it like a Doctor Zeus themed yeah. water park. Yeah. We're going back to okay. the uh, original carnival waterworks, and that's going to be up in the the main sort of sports uh, area where Bolt is going to be. And you've got so much, so many things happening on board. Let's um, let's turn from you and, and thank you for bringing Mardi Gras yeah. in and thank you for offering to, to delegates yeah. at Clear Conference. Oh, we can't wait. So we just need to, we'll be uh, reaching yeah. out to them all soon yeah. about the, um, the registration process, but we'd love to see as many agents on Great. as possible. September 9th, if I'm yes. right. Good. Let's talk about travel agents because you yeah. obviously have a big focus on travel yeah. agents. So 
talk us through some of the programs because we've seen, of course, Travel Agent Rocks, yeah. which has been a huge part of it. Absolutely. So everything we do is about you guys, about travel agents. We genuinely wouldn't have a business if it wasn't for travel agents here in the UK. They are our bread and butter. We don't actually have a direct sell operation here in the UK. So I think I'd be right in saying we're the only major cruise line that doesn't. So if UK customer wants to book direct, they have to go through the States paying dollars and it, it's not the best experience for them. The best experience is with right. travel agents. So we brought in Travel Agents Rock and I'm just gonna, I bought this. Look at this, you've got a crop and um, everything. So this uh, you can request. <laughs> um, we uh, go onto our Facebook page, it's uh, Fun Team International, uh, Carnival Fun Team International. This is basically one of the many things we produce for Travel Agents. This is basically like a training guide, everything they need to know about uh, Carnival product they can okay. keep on their desks. But like I say, everything is about travel agents. All of it goes through Loyalty Rocks Club, uh, which is our reward and recognition program. So if you're not signed up to that, you need to be, because we've also just put in brand new gold level training on Loyalty Rocks Club as well. So you earn money for every booking you do, okay. every webinar you come on, and uh, for doing training as well, you earn um, sort of prize draws and things as well. So cool. there's so much for the trade, and we want as many of you to experience the med product because it's not just Radiance, it's not just Mardi Gras, mm. there's also Carnival Legend doing Bar uh, Dover, Barcelona and Venice sailings as well. So there's so much happening next year. Look out for ship visits, look out for fam trips, you name it, we are going to be doing it for the trade next year. Fantastic. Um, and, and your Ibiza fam trip, yeah. I guess we can call it a fam trip or yeah. fun trip. Reward what trip. There Reward we go. Reward trip. Because that's, that's become we, quite epic, that trip. I mean, yeah, I, I, I don't <laughs> want to take too much credit. No, it is the, it's our signature event. Like, yeah. This is our big reward trip. Um, this is a chance for us to take the top engaged agents through Loyalty Rocks Club away. We do a big awards do, uh, four days in Ibiza, all expenses paid pretty much. Um, and it is just, it's an epic way for us to interact and engage with our travel agents. And we were lucky enough this year to be joined by our Fun Ambassador program. So big shout out to our wonderful Fun Ambassadors. Um, so what's a Fun Ambassador? So we launched this program, uh, be the end towards the back end of last year, to find eight travel agents, frontline travel agents, that can be Carnival Ambassadors, Carnival Fun Ambassadors within their business, but that can also give us valuable feedback and kind of shape what we do with the trade. Okay. So we've had loads of meetings with them where they've given us um, loads of feedbacks on our Loyalty Rocks Club and our, uh, loads of feedback on our training and everything else. And what we've done is we've listened to that and we've changed things. So like we're making the claims process on Loyalty Rocks Club easier. We've added lots of new um, rewards in there. We're adding um, like photo sections and we're adding all these different elements to uh, Loyalty Rocks Club and the training we do and everything that we do really based on pure travel agent feedback. So we will be relaunching it because this has been such a massive success Great. for us and I'm lucky enough to be taking them all on a fam trip in September. I can't wait terrible. for that. I know it's a hard <laughs> life. Um, but no, they've been absolutely incredible and we can't wait to find, uh, find next year's uh, Fun Ambassadors. So when can people get involved in next year? It'll probably be around October time. Um, we'll be doing the application process. We will okay. make sure everyone um, knows where to find it. It'll be a nice, easy, fun application process, but we want as many people uh, to get involved as well, because there's so many benefits. We, I mean, we try and spoil them as much as we can because sure they're, carnival, they're part of the carnival family now. I shall apply Please. immediately, or maybe wait till October. Um, and then famously, of course, Adolfo, and some people uh, will, will know Adolfo, he had yeah. a tattoo. So yeah, I mean, I can't you've show done you the mine, same. But, uh, no. <laughs> so Adolfo, so in the US, obviously we are, again, it's, everything is about travel agents, yeah. so we, what we do in the US. And Adolfo is kind of like a celebrity in the US. Now, he, I think he's got something like 42,000 followers on his Facebook wow. page, pretty much all of them travel agents. Um, it's nothing to do with the way he looks, I'm sure. Um, he's hideously <laughs> Yes, exactly. Uh, no, so he's a really great guy. But basically, to show his commitment to the trade, he had a full Travel Agents Rock logo tattooed on his arm. I keep saying to Ian he should follow suit, um, just to really show dedication for the UK <laughs> trade, but yet to crack that one. But um, no, it's throughout our company, throughout uh, from Miami to here, to all of our GSA partners in all of our markets, uh, travel agents is where our focus is. Great. Well, it's a great message to finish on. Thank you for viewing. Thank you for joining us. And um, no, we'll, thank hope, you for having me. 
and we'll look forward to your new ships and new announcements and things like that. Super. Thank, Thank you very much. Thanks, Luke. Cheers, guys.